Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and I do apologize. I know it's been quite a while since we have actually uh, been with you guys, and uh, so much is going on, and just kind of playing a little video back here in the background. It's kind of interesting, this video here on this channel called Riddle, and uh, talks about the tsunamis, talking about uh, earthquakes, and they show this Godzilla-like creature. And this is some of the things that, that has been disclosed that we've been talking about or that's been shared with me. I haven't had really a chance to, to speak about this into any great depths over on our Patreon channel, but we will be going into that over there. Uh, I did do a different video over on Patreon just recently, so you definitely want to check that out. Uh, but it's been several days since I've actually uploaded any type of news updates, anything that's going on, and yet at the same time, I am getting the information. Uh, so I, I may just, I'll try to take, uh, hopefully a little bit later this evening, maybe I can do an update on, especially the situation with Syria, with Russia. Uh, hopefully I can do a quick update for you guys. It may be on iConnect is where I may have to upload that to start with. And uh, because I do have the ability to run live on there. For some reason, I'm not able to get into my YouTube channel on my phone. I, what it really is, frankly, I can't remember my own password. And so... Uh, until I'm back home, I can't really get uh, the information to be able to update that uh, in the first place. But uh, we've been on a very intensive investigative journey right now uh, because of the situation that we have faced uh, back at home, the uh, loss of my father-in-law, all, uh, all the ramifications that have, that have happened as a result of that. Um, and eventually we are going to be able, we're going to speak to you guys about what's going on because it has tremendously impacted my family, uh, my wife, uh, the kids uh, as well, very much impacted by uh, the things that have transpired in our family here uh, back uh, in December. So we are going to talk about that in the near future. And like I said, we have been doing very extensive investigative work on that in every way imaginable. That investigation is not complete as of yet, but we're working on it. And uh, we need to be able to share those details with you so that you will understand what's going on. And we do tremendously appreciate the fact that you have stayed there with us, that you're still um, supportive of the work we do here. And we will continue, I will continue to get back in uh, into the, the saddle and take care of getting information to you. The information still comes in. I still get uh, updates. I have a meeting this afternoon, in fact. So um, hopefully we can get more things shared with you as a result of that um, that information too. I, I got this so playing here as far as like in the case of uh, tsunami, uh, earthquakes, things like that, because one of the things I've been wanting to update you guys about is that there is a great anticipation uh, or a high probability is really the verbiage that is used uh, with me that in the spring of the year we're going to uh, see or they're anticipating some very massive earthquakes uh, and those earthquakes could very much uh, create tsunamis and uh, that is expected to, to transpire uh, starting all the way down uh, uh, off the um, Oh goodness, New Zealand, off the coast of New Zealand, and then going all the way up to Japan. Uh, there are also the, 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 the um, recently some of the scientists there at the Pentagon have also been talking about, uh, um, let me just pull up some of that information for you there. Uh, some of the scientists there uh, have been sharing uh, uh, that uh, that we are anticipated to see some other uh, big changes. Some of the continent experts, that is, have expressed concerns over impact on earthquakes and floods. So all kinds of climatic changes are coming. And so we wanted to share that with you guys, uh, you know, that they're, they're, they're really anticipating some horrific things to take place as time moves on. And uh, so at any rate, I'm hoping to get some more updates this evening. Uh, I know that the situation with Russia over in uh, Syria, Russia has, more, has stepped up more working with the Syrian uh, government there, kind of like flexing their muscles, uh, letting the U.S. know that they're on the side of Iran, uh, they're on the side of Syria, and also letting the Israelis know. It's been a very mixed message. Normally the Russians are very, very good at working with the Israelis, but right now, 
Uh, they're jamming the uh, systems in Israel, and of course Israel is taking their own technology and jamming back the Russians. Uh, and uh, the Russians are saying they're having to do this for, for a defensive measure uh, to protect their own base there in Latvia. And of course, I got messages from Israeli intel saying that, uh, that they will destroy the Russian base if uh, Russia doesn't back off. So it's a very, very tit for tat type of situation going on there. Uh, and again, don't forget, we had mentioned to you already that when this situation goes down in um, uh, as far as any confrontation that we could possibly have with Russia, that, they, that there is a belief that Iran will strike Israel from a naval vessel. That's the intel that we have gotten uh, regards to how Russia would get brought into a war with the U.S. It would first start with Iran, strike against Israel, and then Russia then would strike the United States. Uh, now, whether or not that will really happen still remains to be seen. It's just some of the intel, some of the uh, scenarios that have been played out. So we'll just have to wait to see how that's going to work out. Uh, at any rate, I uh, just wanted to kind of give you that information there. I've got to get ready for a meeting here in just a little bit. So God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And, uh, and, if you, and if God lays it on your heart, please do support the work we do. Uh, you can do so by visiting our website. In fact, uh, uh, right here, donate by mail. You can do that or you can donate online. We greatly appreciate that. And, do, and by the way, I put out a teaching video the other day, and I think it's over on YouTube. So let me just quickly look at that uh, for you. Because if you have not seen this teaching video that we did, I think it would really, yeah, this is it right here. Jacob's Ladder Holds an Unknown Mystery. And I really do it as a kind of like a pro and con. And I share with how that, uh, you know, God sits there and shows Jacob, the angel ascending and descending, uh, and, uh, and, and tells him that I'll give this land to you and to your seed. And then Satan comes along and Jesus is, uh, you know, right there in the deserts uh, just outside of Jerusalem. And he shows him all the kingdoms of the world. And he says, I'll give this to you if, and of course, as he actually says in the Hebrew, Matthew, if you, un if you bury your head, if you, and I thought that was fascinating because when God shows the angels ascending and descending to Jacob, it's like a portal. In other words, God is showing how that they're coming to the earth, I guess, to give messages or whatever, going back up to heaven. But in the case, when it comes to Jesus with Satan, he's like, basically, the way you would take this in the Hebrew uh, verbiage that is used there, it's not a literal uncovering your head, but it's the way you would translate that. It's kind of like to ask the question, hey, how did you get here? We know how the angels come, but how did you get here? So I thought that was fascinating. And it's almost like, okay, if you will reveal to me how you got here, I'll give you everything. And a lot of people believe it's just a bow down to show worship, but I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, just a quick update here. And uh, we very much look forward to getting back, uh, trying to do as much as we can to share what's going on. There is a lot of concern, I know right now, even in government circles as well as private circles, individuals talking about Planet X and things like that that are coming, all the different things that are affecting the Earth as a result. And I want to get into those things with you. Also, the wars and stuff. A lot of these wars, believe it or not, have everything to do with this planet, our comet, comet planet that is actually coming because so much destruction will be done to the earth during that time uh, that this is why there is such a major power struggle in the world. Anyway, Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening and have a blessed evening.